What's up guys, this is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews and more. Now if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so for more videos like this. Now today I've got a three-way comparison, love the comparison videos. I've got the Huggle versus the Comfy versus the Classic Snuggie to see which one comes out on top. So without further delay, let's get right to it in today's review. This is the Huggle. And this is the Comfy. And this, wait, thank you, is the Snuggie. Ah, uh, there we go. Now let's see which one actually comes out on top. This is the Huggle, which is on the packaging dated 2018. Now my first question was, is the Huggle and the Snuggie related? But when I looked at the packaging, the Huggle is by Ontel and the Snuggie is by All Star Products Group. Those are competing SEN TV companies, so they are not by the same company. I think the Huggle is definitely more like the Comfy than it is like the Snuggie. The features of the Huggle are that it's reversible, it has a big pocket, the packaging describes it as premium fleece quality. One size fits all, and there's a couple different color options. I found this at a Walmart for $29.99 in the SEN TV section. All right, this is the Comfy. You may have seen this on Shark Tank. It's advertised as the coziness of a blanket with the fit of a sweatshirt. I paid $40 for this at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I used a 20% coupon that knocked it down to about 32 bucks. Another feature that the Comfy advertises is that the hood is so large you can, you can double as a pillow. I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be, but it is something that they advertise. All right, so this is the Snuggie. We all know it and love it. This one costs about $15 to $20 online and in the ASEAN TV section of some stores. According to the box here, it's described as the blanket that has sleeves, and I would say that's accurate. Now, the one thing to note, the back is open. There's no way to tie it, really. It's large, though. It's 71 by 54 inches. The material is described as super soft fleece, and it's one size fits all. I think if you were kind of short, it would definitely be dragging on the ground. But other than the sleeves, it's kind of a generic blanket. All right, let's take a closer look at the Comfy first up. I was worried the material may be something that I didn't like, but actually it's a very soft, comfortable material on the outside. On the inside, it's this kind of Sherpa, soft Sherpa material, which is pretty high quality and it feels very nice against your skin when you wear it. You've got this pocket you can access with either side and the sleeves have a sort of elastic band on them. Pretty well made. Now if we look at the Huggle, very similar. It also has a pocket accessible from both sides. This material is a little bit different, but on the inside it's also a kind of a Sherpa. These sleeves also have an elastic band. So when you put them side by side, they're very close. Both have the pockets, both have similar materials. If you compare the interiors, there is a difference. This is, a, the Comfy is a little bit better made than the Huggle, in my opinion. It seems like a higher quality. But when you're wearing them, the differences are, are not as stark. This one just seems, the Huggle just seems a little bit lighter. Otherwise, they're both quite comfortable to wear. Now, when you put the Snuggie in the mix, it's really a completely different animal. It really is just a blanket with sleeves. That's all there is to it. So those who compare the Huggle and the Comfy to the Snuggie, are a little bit off base because they're really not much alike. This is really just a blanket with sleeves on it. The material is, not, is the same on the inside or the outside. There is no way, on, at least on this model of Snuggie, to tie the back, which, so when you're sitting there, your back is kind of exposed. All right, I'm out here in my backyard for my cold weather test. Now I know it's not Canada cold out here, but I think it's cold enough to be able to test out which one is the warmer of the three. Right now I've got the Huggle on. All I have underneath this is a tank top and some shorts. As you can see how it goes. It doesn't even cover my shorts. It's not even down to my knees. So, uh, but the inside feels very nice against my skin. I do feel kind of warm out here. My legs are kind of cold. So let me switch over to the Comfy and see how that compares to this one. All right, now I've got the Comfy on. Both of them have hoods also with that nice material. The material inside here feels a little bit better quality and the overall feel is a little bit heavier. I feel quite warm up here. Again, the legs are not covered. The Snuggie I know covers my legs, but let's see how it compares upstairs and downstairs versus the other two. Next up, the Snuggie. All right, here we go. I don't know why this is making me laugh, but it is making me laugh. So this one goes all the way to the ground. This is actually going below my feet, and the arms actually go over my hands. So there's a lot more material, but if you look in the back, hello, there it goes. 
it is definitely more like a blanket than a robe because you just kind of you just kind of drape it over yourself. Um, I don't feel as warm upstairs, but downstairs is warm because it's being covered. The fact that it covers your legs and the others don't is something to consider, even though it's not as warm. The material isn't quite as comfortable against my skin as the other two, but I feel like I'm wearing some sort of a a monk Halloween costume. I don't know. What do you guys think? One more thing to consider is that when I start taking this off, I start feeling the static electricity building up. The other two didn't do that. Something to consider. And this one doesn't stay on as well. I mean, I feel like it's just falling off. You know, like I have to kind of keep adjusting it. So for standing up, I don't think this is as good as the other two. Maybe laying down on the couch, it's, it's better. We'll find out in a little bit. I can hear that static electricity. I'm gonna get shocked. Just wanna show you a size comparison between the two Sweatshirts versus the Snuggie. You can see a side by side. This is on a king size bed. Now watch how big the Snuggie is. I mean, this thing is huge. It's almost the size of like a full size bed compared to the others. It's much bigger. It also has more static. Ah, my purple bed. Can put the game on. It's a little bit of a draft. I think I need to put the comfy on. Let's try that out. Uh, much better. My legs aren't covered though. But in the commercial, they show them covering their legs like this. I guess I could, I don't know if I really want to sit like this for a long period of time. I can put my remote in here. It's a, this is a pretty large pocket. I guess if I was freezing, I would probably do this. I don't know if I didn't really need to do it here, but all right, well, put the game on, see how this goes. Oh, another thing, this is reversible. Check this out. All right, I kind of feel like Bumble, and I don't think it's nearly as comfortable. This is, a, this isn't as good as an interior as this is. I look like a big snowball, so I guess, you can reverse it if you want to. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you can. Let me see how this compares to the Huggle. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get this game on eventually. Okay, here we go once again. Big pocket for the remote, hoodie on. All right, I'm set. This is also, it's almost as warm. Does this look ridiculous? I don't care. I guess if you're, if you're warm, it doesn't matter how you look. I don't think I'd wanna sit like this for the entire game, which means I'll probably sit like this. And if I'm cold, my legs are gonna be cold. One thing I'm also noticing is I'm seeing more lint on the Huggle than I am on the Comfy. That might be a minor point, but it definitely seems like I'm getting more pet hair and lint. They're noticeable on here. That's something I hadn't noticed before. You know, this is also reversible too. Check this out. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. I'm back to beating Bumble again. It's, it's so similar. I actually think that this is a little bit better reversible than the Comfy when it's reversed, but neither one are better like this than they are with the Sherpa on the inside. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, I'm ready to watch the game now. Wait. All right, so we got one more to try out. Let's see how the Snuggie compares. All right, now, what I definitely like better about the Snuggie is it goes all the way down. I can stretch out. It's not quite as warm as those, but if you don't need like maximum warmth, this one is actually not a bad option. It's the cheapest of the three, and it's easier to put on and take off. It's basically just a blanket with some really baggy sleeves. Look at this. This one also seems to be picking up a little bit more lint and pet hair than the Comfy. The Comfy seems, for whatever reason, to not be showing as much as these two. I would not wear this to a tailgating party. I don't care what the commercials show. But around the house, it's, it's not bad for a blanket. I can actually get my remote control here. But who cares, right? You're in your comfort of your home. Obviously, this one you wouldn't reverse because it works only one way. And there's not two different materials on here. And there's no pocket. But it does cover your legs. In this setting, Snuggie might have a very slight advantage unless it's really, really cold and you got to bundle up. But it's staticky. Hey guys, it's Tristan and Brandon. Hey, hey put those on. <laughs> Tell me what you think. That's the Huggle. And Brandon, you have the Comfy. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. What do you guys, what do you think? think? We look like ice climbers. <laughs> yeah, ice we look like the ice climbers. Oh. <laughs> Ice climbers. <laughs> you have a pocket here too. Yours got the logo. I don't know if I'd like the logo or not. So what do you think? Warm, comfy? I'm already hot in this. <laughs> I, I'm serious. This is, this is like super warm. All right, so what, maybe you guys switch and see which one you like better. I like the insulation on the inside. It's, like, it's a Sherpa material on the inside. So now you have the Huggle and you're going to have the comfy. Okay. What do you guys think? Is there a difference between the two? A significant difference? I say this one has a lot more like yeah that hood's way this, bigger on this that. hood is way bigger really i think it would be good do so you guys like the hood on this one better yeah i like Still. the color on this too like the color on that one better yeah pretty much the same but the hood's a little bit better yeah do you think one was felt heavier than the other uh this one feels heavier that one's heavier the, the, that one, we all okay 
Yeah, I, so we all agree that one's heavier, but they're both comfortable and very similar. Yeah, all right. I'd say so. Who wants to try the Snuggie? Okay. <laughs> Put your arms through the sleeves. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the sleeves go in the front. <laughs> oh, what the? Like this? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Like a, I feel like you should be wearing like a have like a candle in your hands, like, I mean, like chanting something. Yeah, I feel like I, I'm just gonna put on a blanket with sleeves. <laughs> That's, exactly. Like that. That's exactly what it is. It's a blanket with sleeves. Uh, do you like this one, this over the others, or are the others better? I definitely like the other ones. The other ones better. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if I if I go one way, it's like okay, but if I go this way, it's like yeah, it falls off easily. Yeah. They don't really highlight that in the commercial. I guess it's comfy if I'm like relaxing. You could be on your phone and laying down, see? Yeah, that's, that would be a good time for it. But, but so you wouldn't go to a tailgating party wearing that, would you? No. Because they show it in the commercial like that. Oh, no. I would not go to like a football stadium. Like, they show outside. them in football stadiums wearing Are, those. Really? No. I don't know if I would do that. I'd definitely pick one of these. Over the other. All right, thanks guys. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Ice Climbers. I'd probably put the Snuggie at the end at number three, only because it's kind of a basic design. It really is just a blanket with sleeves. There really isn't much else to it. All right, so here are the pros and the cons of the Snuggie. The pros would be that it's the cheapest of the three. It's also quite easy to put on. You just put your arms through there, and it does cover your legs when you're laying down or standing up because it's longer than the others. Now, as far as the cons go, it doesn't cover your back at all. So if you're sitting up, your back's still gonna be getting cold. It's also not as warm as the others. The others are much thicker than this one. And really the material isn't anything special. This is kind of a generic fleece blanket. All right, I'd probably put the Huggle at number two. It's very close to the comfy as far as comfort and weight and warmth goes. I would say that the, the pros would be that it's warmer than the Snuggie. It's easily found in the Asian TV section and it is less expensive than the Comfy. It's also reversible and I think that when it's reversed, it's more comfortable than the Comfy when it's reversed. Now the cons of the Huggle would be that it's not quite as high quality in my opinion as the Comfy. It also doesn't cover your legs when you're standing or laying or sitting with your legs stretched out. All right, so my pick for number one obviously would be the Comfy. So the pros would be that it's the highest quality in my opinion and with a coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond you get it for $32 which is only $2 more than the Huggle. So you get the best quality for only two bucks more. I think it's definitely worth the extra $2. It's reversible. It's well made. The only real cons about this one is that it's the most expensive by only a couple dollars with that coupon and it also doesn't cover your legs. Really I think of the three this is probably the one that I would pick. Have you used the Comfy? the Huggle or the Snuggie, tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as I go. Check out my brand new Patreon page right here. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.